Well, the news doesn't seem to be getting any better. Huge NFT fund is potentially getting liquidated. We're seeing one of the largest lenders in the Web3 space getting some extra scrutiny and NFT volumes are drying up. OpenSea with the lowest volume they've had since February 2021. Is this the end of NFTs or is this the biggest buying opportunity to make life changing money? Uh, you're going to have to check out the rest of the show to find out. Welcome to Goats in the Metaverse. Let's get right to it. Eve, price, $1,173. I saw it below $1,100 earlier. Uh, right now we're seeing a green arrow, but it's mostly been a red arrow. And yeah, the, the mood is down. People are upset. Uh, is this the bottom, Yossi? Is this the bottom? Are we near the bottom? Does, do you know? Does anybody know? Nobody knows, but it could be. Uh, what's interesting about the ETH price is that we know that Three Arrows Capital had a major margin call that was going to happen at about $1,053, somewhere around there. And all the short sellers were trying to squeeze them out into that margin call. It didn't quite get there. And uh, anyone who got short was wrecked. So we have it at $1,100, but they are not safe yet. There is still people out in the market trying to go for that margin call to be able to liquidate them. Uh, and went out on those short battles. So there is already some speculation happening on whether that is going to play out and whether the short sellers are going to drive the ETH price down even further. So that's what's happening with the ETH price. We're going to keep on watching it. What's happening in the market, Stanley? Market. Well, it's good to finally see some green. Um, not a lot of green, but some projects are up. But at the price points we were at, there was not a lot of more room to go down. Uh, B A Y C is in the 80s. Cool cats are above three. Uh, B friends, 6.75. Uh, punks below 50. Doodles below 10. Zuki below 10. Uh, mutants, you can buy a mutant right now for about $17,000, $18,000. Uh, if you recall, mutants are way over 100 grand just a short time ago. How quickly we have come, my friend. How quickly we have come to the bottom. Um, listen, I think the most disappointing part or the sad part is the mood is down, right? Like, like, like I, I know there's, we, we had the conversation before, beforehand it, is this buying opportunities Do we, you know, we both believe in the space. We believe this is a buying opportunity, but it's hard to make, you know, pull that trigger because the, the morale is down. The mood is down. Um, and you know the sales volumes are down. We, we you mentioned at the beginning of the show, it is not where we're used to. We want that hype, we want that alpha, and now things are going slow, 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 slow. But some interesting things did happen yesterday. Uh, one of the hottest projects of the last thirty days, uh, Goblin Town, one of our personal favorites, did something that is very, very, very smart. What did they do, Yasi? Well, the Goblin Town team came out and doxed themselves. Originally, a anonymous team that launched and came onto the scene and took the world by storm uh, with uh, their growling spaces uh, that managed to get the mainstream attention, even in the bear market. Well, they came out and revealed who they are. Uh, and who is the team behind Goblin Town? So they uh, have doxxed themselves with a video that has now over 113,000 views. Uh, and they said that they knew that the day would come that they would have to dox, and they've been dreading it because the little project is not about them. Uh, but they felt it was irresponsible not to, uh, and were astonished and humbled by the response to Goblin Town. Uh, the team behind it is Truth Labs and the Illuminati NFT and the 187. So three different teams behind it. Uh, floor prices of those communities, Illuminati NFT, floor price 0.69. That was 0.24 when they minted in January 2022. Uh, the 187 floor price 13 ETH. Mint price was 0.23 in December 7th, 2021. Uh, and reminded about Goblin Town has no roadmap. They say has no Discord, has no utility, and they say they're not even sure what utility means. It's a CC0 project, uh, and the only kind of rewards for the team was that they had a 1,000 goblins that they set aside for the mint, 
Uh, and now what they're saying is that they are going to take 50 of those goblins for the Illuminati DAO. 50 of the goblins will go to the team that helped make the whole thing possible. And the remaining 900 will be raffled to Illuminati NFT holders and the 187 communities. Five per day over the next six months. So that's pretty exciting for those communities. What does that tell me, though, about Goblin Town? Does that mean that the team is going to be behind it? Are they going to be building? Are they going to be pushing it further when they're giving away their main kind of reward mechanisms? They do earn some of the secondaries on royalties. But it's a big question. Stanley, what do you think? Um, I think it was very smart that they came out. And if you're watching the show, I want to hear from you below in the comments. Comment, one, are you a fan of Goblin Town? Yes or no? And do you think it's a good idea that they dox themselves? We want to hear from you guys. Uh, I personally do. And I think the timing was right. We're sitting here in a shitty market. Uh, we're right before NFT NYC. They needed to make a splash to be considered one of those projects that are still hot. And they did it the right way. They came out and said, look, here we are. And I guess all, all the pressure is off Yuga now, right? Uh, it is not Yuga Lab who's behind uh, the project, which I'm very happy about. Um, and I think they did the right thing. We'll see what happens. I hate to say it, I'm still not a believer in it, um, but I've been wrong before. I'm sure all of you guys can tell me in the comments you see me being wrong before. Uh, we'll see what happens. But I do think they made the right, smart business decision. In What's interesting is the floor price has dropped since the team docks themselves. That is uh, that's a little little bit of a slap in the face. So it could just be the broader markets. Uh, but I think you're right. If you want to be thinking about this as a long-term hold, you need to know who the people behind it are to be able to get behind them. They are doing an activation at NFT NYC. There is the McGoblin truck that is going around handing out free burgers. They've partnered up with Ferocious, the well-known artist. Uh, and they're hosting a private event for the Illuminati NFT uh, community, and any Goblin Town people are invited to that. So you will be able to meet the team in person at NFT NYC and make your call on whether this is a community you want to be part of. I hope you speak to them in loud Goblin no noises when you see them. Uh, in other news, very big, exciting news, Madonna is announcing announced a concert with the world of women she's doing a live performance and the only way to get in is to be a world of women holder wow. now this is kind of a big deal i mean madonna no offense to her is not in her prime anymore but you know she's an icon she's a legend she's she's still madonna and she is going to be doing a performance just for a world of women holders. That is the only way to get in. Uh, the floor price moved up a little bit. Uh, I'm sure some DJs are not really excited to see Madonna. Uh, I think this is the difference between a bear market and a bull market. In a bull market, Madonna hosting a private event for the world of women holders, we'd see the floor price double in price in a 24-hour period. Bill Bear Market, Madonna's doing a private show for the World of Woman Holders, and we get a little bit of movement. No one really cares. Not that not is what it means to be in the difference between bear and bull. But what it does say is, you know, Guy O'Siri, who we've seen play out his playbook for Board Ape Yard Club, uh, bringing in the celebrities into these communities, giving them ownership of their avatar that has full commercial rights. That is the playbook that is playing out here with World of Woman because he represents World of Woman. On that front so madonna is probably the first of those types of examples that we're going to see out of this community and this is just a example of what may come from there so you back gaia siri you back the notion of a woman-led project and all the diversity that that brings yeah, you're in a market where this is now a interesting possibility world of woman would have cost you in just two three months ago over uh, 10 eth when eth was at three thousand dollars $30,000 to enter that world. Now you're looking at World of Women at under four ETH at $1,100. That is $4,000 to enter it. It's still a big chunk of money for many people. $4,000, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of money. Uh, but if you were a buyer of World of Women at 10 ETH or even wanted to enter the community, now at four ETH, you've got to be even more excited. And this is the time to buy, buy low, sell high, as opposed to buy high, sell high. You want to be buying low, selling high. And one other thing I want to add to it is 
you know, not how many people are going to be in that room. Madonna tickets at its prime were probably, you know, 300 bucks, 500 bucks at Madison Square Garden, right? And I don't know where those seats were. Now you probably have a small, intimate venue for a small amount of people where you get to see Madonna. And I'm going to assume that she's going to be out in the public, right? She might be having a drink at the bar or, or whatever the case may be. Maybe there's some sort of meet and greet, but there's something that's there. It's more an exclusive, uh, intimate setting. And if you're a Madonna fan, you get to be a part of that moment for $4,000, which might seem high. But there's also residual value to that down the line, right? Like you might make money on that if ETH goes up, right? So you got to- Or sell it afterwards. Correct. You got to experience a real, sell it afterwards is a good point. You got to experience real utility that somebody might have not been able to get. And once again, I'm not 100% sure. Madonna might be performing every other night in Vegas. I don't know. Or she might have not performed in the last three years. So, but true Madonna fans or people who are really- passionate about certain experiences are now could get to take advantage of it. And this is why we, you and I are on our soapbox screaming NFTs are interesting. Um, let's talk about other things, rumors. Let's talk about rumors, Yasi. There's some rumors out there and those rumors. Those rumors may not be good for the Web3 industry. There are some two big rumors that are going around and we're seeing them play out. Celsius, the uh, crypto lending protocol uh, that allows you to uh, lend against your ETH or Bitcoin or your crypto, uh, giving interest rates of between 7 and 10% for doing so. Well, there's lots of claims that they are now illiquid, that they are getting liquidated and insolvent. Uh, Celsius CEO denied such claims on Twitter uh, and the very next day sent out an email to all the Celsius holders saying that they are temporarily suspending withdrawals from Celsius. Uh, this has led people to believe that the rumors are no longer rumors, they're actually true, but Celsius is showing on their balance sheet that they have more funds to be able to hold their balance sheet position so that they do not get liquidated. They have to hit, I think it's about a $16,000 Bitcoin price and their uh, loans will be coming up and there will be margin called. And I believe they don't have sufficient capital to, to make those margin calls good. So that's one big news and big um, challenge for the industry. A lot of people may be exposed to Celsius, a lot of lenders, and a lot of people have their assets tied up in Celsius because they were chasing those juicy yields. Now that they cannot remove them, uh, has a lot of people afraid. The other big news and the other big rumor, again, this is a rumor, is that 3AC, Three Arrows Capital, is in a similar position as Celsius. Based on some of their trades, they invested about $500 million into Luna, that is now worth cents on the dollars. Uh, and they have a $245 million ETH deposit lending on platform Aave. Uh, and from this, they borrowed $189 million in USDC and USDT. Uh, and their own to value ratio was 77%. And they must keep this below above 85% uh, in order for them to not get liquidated. And if ETH continues to drop, they may become margin called on that. So uh, two big players in the space where other companies in the space have exposure to them uh, could be going under. And that will drive the ETH price down even further. Uh, so on a macro level, we have the big macro conditions happening in the industry. And on a micro level, we have within the industry, some of the big players showing some of their vulnerability by being in the space and over leveraged. Uh, how that plays out into the markets? Well, we'll see what happens with those companies. But if they do get liquidated, it is not bullish for ETH prices and, broader, and the broader market in general. Wow. Some good news. We still have the goat vault, Yasi. <laughs> the goat vault is still here. It well, is here. Well, for those of you that don't know, the goat vault is our way of giving back to you. And if you enjoyed your show today, our show today, make sure you subscribe. And what do we do? We give back to you, our community. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we open up the goat vault and start handing out those NFTs current value $16,000. And for those new viewers of the show, at one point, not too long ago, the goal was around $90,000.
We're hoping the goat bull goes back up, but most importantly, we're hoping we get to 5,000 quick so we could start handing this thing out. Make sure you subscribe. If you like the show or if you have any questions for us, make sure you comment below. Ask us whatever you want to ask us. We'll make sure to respond during our next show. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody.